Hi guys, this is Nettie on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about parameter expansion. Okay, parameter expansion is a feature of Bash and I think that you guys should use it because it has the ability to um, manipulate multiple files and also incorporates the ability to use other programs to manipulate those files in an iterative way. In this example we've got for f in star.og do um, ffmpeg dash uh, input dollar file um, and I think you can read the rest of this. There's a bit of a little at the end. Okay, I'll explain it to you. Please set up a variable called f. In f, each time there will be start og. So anything that start og in the present working directory, please include it. And do ffmpeg to that variable or to that value of that variable. And we have dash av, which is just the audio bit rate, a feature of ffmpeg. ffmpeg. So we can set the audio bit rate to 128k, which I think is a good bit rate for music. And put it in this project folder. Okay, remove these these percentage signs, the two of them, say so remove the suffix, okay, and this dot mp3 outside the brace says please put the mp3 um, suffix on the end. Now you might say that that's just going to move um, these files from og into mp3 but not the case what's in fact going to happen is ffmpeg is going to treat treat each of these input files uh, intelligently and say okay each one has to be an mp3 file now the reason why we do this I've, I've done this before by the way so I've just got to replace these files uh, as they come up the reason why I'm um, teaching this is it's important to know how to command how to do things in the command line not always will a GUI tool work what if something's got a bug in it what if your favorite tool has a bug in it what if for example, x fails and you're stuck in the command line, you need to do something. Let's do this again. Yes. Okay. These are the things that I've learned from these nasty little things happening to me. X, you know, failing or whatever like that. Especially in a distro like, a distro like Gentoo, uh, where it's not assumed that you'll have X. X is an assumed th isn't an assumed thing. Um, so I think it's important that we can learn these things. And one of the things I will be teaching you guys, I'm uh, putting a guide up for you guys, is how to compile a kernel. Um, both using the menu system and using the um, uh, the uh, config file, and there's other things that there are other things I'll be looking at too um, that I think you know you guys should look at, uh, especially finding files in the in the file hierarchy, um, looking at how much file space or how much disk space a uh, file is using. So anyway, uh, to conclude this video, we can see if we go into the CD um, project see all our files are here okay now unfortunately using the screencast technique that I'm using which is actually using the ffmpeg um, VLC will not output to um, to that so um, I can assure you though however that these do play okay guys this has been Ubiquitous 1980 and I'm signing off for next time until next time see you guys bye